Matthew Failer here, Iditarod competitor. If you're going to want to get in the thousand mile dog sled race, you're going to need a good sled. I built this sled myself and it's non-traditional. You know, a traditional sled would be you stand in the back. This one here I stand in the middle and the reason being I want to sit down. That way I can take a break and efficiently take care of the dogs while they're resting. So the seat is a cooler. I can put the dog's food in there while they're running. I've got some food soaking with water and I can go feed them out two hours down the trail. So it's a very important part is your seat. That's also your, your cooler. On the front of the sled, we have the bag. It's important because it's also your tent. When it's cold and windy, if you want to take a break, you can crawl in your sleeping bag inside your, inside your sled bag. So this is also your tent. If a dog needs a break, if they're tired, they can sit in here and sleep and you can give them a break. You also carry all of your food, all of your mandatory gear, axe, snowshoes. Your cooker is on the back. This is a very important, this is probably one of the most important things on your sled. It's just a simple way to get a fire going. You have a burner, you can put snow in this pot and melt the snow and voila, you have water. So when it's really cold, you can make a fire. If you're thirsty, you can get water. Um, lots of other good stuff. You got a brake, you got a parking brake. This is just a big anchor. So you're going to need all these things if you want to compete in the Iditarod. And I hope you will follow us March 2015, 17th dog, Team Matthew Failer.